how do we draw the resonance structure? So you would have the tail of the arrow pointing to what's being moved and then like the head of the arrow, like where it's gonna be formed. Yes. Right? Right. So, okay. Draw I the would, arrow. I would say it would move from here to here. You're right. Is that right? Okay. I don't wanna like write in permanent marker and be wrong. Okay. You're good. So yes, the tail does have to go from whatever electrons we're moving. Mm -hmm. And then from there, that's going to move towards the bond. A mm -hmm. lot of times students want to point this to the positive charge, oh. but it's not going there necessarily. Like right. we want to point this to then show that there's going to now be a double bond at mm -hmm. this end. Okay, so that's correct. Next, let's draw the resonance okay. structure. So be like this. Good. And then my positive charge would be here now. Yes, yeah. beautiful. That is exactly correct. Good, okay. I like it. Can we keep going? Um, what are you thinking? Honestly, I don't think so. Well, I mean, could we move it here to this side, like on this part right here, but then that would just change the positive back? So the reason why we can't move this to here mm -hmm. goes back to the possibilities of resonance. So if we go back to uh, actually a resonance trick. Okay. Oh yeah. We do not involve sp3 hybridized mm -hmm. atoms or think of it as just a single bond. Okay. We're, we're not going to move that over here uh, and kind of like looking at this, I know that this carbon that is sp3 hybridized mm -hmm. because there are Four bonds, bonds, right? There's it. three hydrogens that aren't mm -hmm. being shown. Same thing here. So another oh, cool right. thing is being able to see where resonance is actually going to happen. Okay. And that goes back to what I just mentioned, which was what's possible. So I know that the pi bond, mm -hmm. that's where resonance is going to happen. Charges, if there were lone pairs, then it would also be there. Mm -hmm. This is everywhere that resonance can occur. Okay but it's not gonna happen here. Not there. So that's why we're only moving throughout this direction. Oh, okay. So Sorry yes, there's one. there's only two resonance structures possible. Okay, that makes sense. Good, good so far. Yeah, good, good. All right, let's move on to the next one. Mm -hmm. We're still on drawing more of the resonance structures. Okay. So this is the next one. Now, I want us to kind of play around with this idea right mm -hmm. now because I know once we start getting into the permanent marker, it's like, mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. And we had a positive charge here. Okay. Okay. Where can resonance take place? Um, only at the SP2s, which would be Only here, right? So the sp2s right? and also oh, and the pi bonds. The pi bonds, so that's double bonds, okay. right? Charges. If there were lone pairs, then yes. The, the main thing with the trick is uh, we're later going to see that okay, maybe there might be an oxygen that oh, isn't going to be it. perfectly, mm -hmm. you know. It, sometimes I would say that this trick mainly works with the pi bonds and then the positive charges. Yeah. But we really aren't going to see anything with an sp3 hybridized carbon. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this could move here. Good. And then I guess I could do that. Mm -hmm. um, which would change the charge on this one. Beautiful. Um, You're right. That's right. Okay. So, that's, so that would be one. That's the first structure. Let's, oh, yay. let's draw okay. that out. Good, good. And I want you to show what you the movement that you oh, just so did. Oh, so just draw that on here. Yes. Like that. Good. Perfect. Okay. And then I just go do that. Then this would now be here, and then positive charge. Good. And then we still we didn't move anything that stays. The oh same. yeah, that does stay. Oh yeah. Little guy right there. Good. Okay. Then. What else? How else can we keep moving this? Um. Could we move this like up here, like that? Or you're right. That's right. We okay. could move that up. Then what happens to the positive charge? Then this positive would come down to here. Good. 
and that would be another resonance. And that would be don't. another. So we don't actually have to move like the bond at the same time. Like no. we can do one on one. Yes. Okay. That's cool. And then it would be. So let's see what I did. Okay. Yes, I would say though, make sure when you are putting that to like be very specific oh, on the point. Oh, okay. Because this is kind of like, eh, it it's too? not really on that carbon, which is at each point. Oh, I see what you're saying. And then let's see, let me double check mm -hmm. your work. So we moved here. Oh, let's oh, also show the movement. Yes. Say, wait. Okay. That guy right there. Good. And then that moved here. That's correct. Great. And then can we, and actually let's fix that. So let's, mm -hmm. let's cross that out and just put a, a plus on that point. Good. And then I would even scooch, this is fine for now, but I'd say I'd even scooch this guy like right there. Oh, so like, right to okay. Just because you never know with your professor, yeah, some instructors are tougher true. than others. That's true. Um, okay, so good so far. And I'm actually gonna kind of angle this just to show the same direction. Mm -hmm as the point here, just to make it easier for us to tell. Can we keep going? Um, let's see. If I were to move... No, because I just end up right, right here. Good. Okay. If we moved this here, right? Yeah. Towards that positive charge, mm -hmm. then we're back to one of the previous yes, ones. Yes, exactly. And once you know that, okay, I went back to one of the previous ones, I'm done. You're done. So if you like this practice problem and want to try another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire study session, click right here.